Hey everyone, it's Jenny Knight with Press Pass. Tonight, former First Lady of South Carolina, Jenny Sanford, speaks to USC students about keeping a positive outlook in times of trouble. USC staff and students gathered in the Russell House Ballroom for the lecture. I spoke with a couple students about Mrs. Sanford's reaction to the drama caused by her ex-husband, South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford. I think she handled the situation really well and um, she should be respected for and commended for how she handled it. I was just very impressed throughout the whole process how discreetly she handled her husband's very public situation. She represents a, a type of strong woman that we all can follow and be inspired by her example. I had a chance to sit down with the former First Lady for an exclusive interview before her speech. So I read some of your book and um, the first line really stood out to me. I see now that June 24th, 2009 was a day that changed forever the trajectory of my life, but it did not change me. And your book is entitled Staying True. So what are some ways that you've been able to stay true to yourself and to your family through difficult times? You know, one of the most important things and you, I, I believe you need to do in terms of staying true to your values is you need to know your values, first of all, and then you need to prioritize your life and your activities around those things. And you know, it's easy to go through different stages and seasons in your life. Um, you know, I've been through the, the first lady thing, I've been through the married stage, and now I'm in the divorce stage. But in all those stages, I remain true to the things that matter to me, and those um, are the values that I hold dear. They, they tend to be based on, you know, basic biblical principles, um, but they tend to be things that I care about. Do you have advice for writers, aspiring writers? Um, with your book, it's been a big success, and so. Yeah, it, you know, it's an interesting, I would, my advice for writers would not be to go through the personal crisis that I went through just <laughs> so you can <laughs> write a book. I would, I would maybe take a different path, but um, I did learn through the writing process that, that once you sit down and put pen to paper, and if you, in, in my case, I was writing about something very personal, but it was very cathartic. It, it helped me to get through it and to sort through my values and my you know, um, response to everything that had happened mm -hmm. by writing. And so writing can be actually very ther therapeutic and helpful, not only to me, but the, the book itself has been helpful to others. So it's been a positive experience. I'm toying right now with whether I write something else, and I'm toying with writing something fiction that's a different kind of a book um, and again again the more I sit and think about and draw from the experiences in my life you know the more you open up and get into yourself the more I think you're able to actually sit and write uh, now as first lady you're involved in politics do you plan to continue your involvement with that I hope to really take a back seat in politics I mean I feel like I, I, I do believe it's very important for people to you know to be involved in politics and mm -hmm. I think we need pe good people involved now more than ever but um, it's it's actually taken a real toll on my family obviously for obvious reasons so I think I'm, I'm pretty much finished with politics mm -hmm. although if I do end up writing a novel it would have a lot to say about politics okay. uh, so that might be another way that I could you know keep a foot in the door I guess <laughs> All right, this has been Jenny Knight with Press Talk. I'll see you next time. What advice do you have for maybe college age students going through difficult times? You know, I would say that for college kids today, there are many challenges. Um, you guys juggle a lot more than I believe I did when I was in college. And so, you know, many of you guys carry jobs. You're worried about you're worried about getting a job. Um, there, are, there are a lot of lot of a lot of things you face going forward that we didn't. Um, again, I would say know what you what, know what matters to you um, because that'll help you choose between certain career paths and others. It'll help you sift through the important things in life and not maybe not maybe to take certain you know certain things that aren't as important so seriously. Um, and and I'd also recommend that you not overlook the notion of um, of some kind of involvement in service because service sometimes helps. It may not. It it may not be as much um, in, in terms of the success or the high paying um, you know, kind of jobs that, that most people tend to look for, but a life involve, you know, that involves service, even if it's something you do over and above a job, is something that, that actually helps bring real, real meaning to your lives.